it. So here we are going to discuss a very brief conceptual understanding of benign prostatic hyperplasia, right? Generally, we tend to skip the pathogens of BPH, so just I thought we'll uh, understand about BPH. So this is a simple flowchart from Robbins. I'm going to take the same thing and we're going to understand about BPH, right? So everything revolves around here, testosterone, especially better product of testosterone, the dihydrotestosterone. Testosterone affects both stromal and epithelial cells. Epithelial cell is not that much involved in the pathogens of BPH. It is stromal cell which is more concerned in the pathogens of BPH, right? So when testosterone comes to stromal cell, with the help of enzyme 5 alpha reductase type 2, which is present here, type 1 is present more in the liver, which is converted to dihydrotestosterone. This is much more active than testosterone in binding to androgen receptors, right? So when this binds to androgen receptors, it stimulates growth factor for multiple things, right? So then automatically it results in the division of stromal cell and also it results in the division of epithelial cell. This was our good understanding, right? So now let's go what happens exactly in growth factors in the next image given in this uh, flowchart, right? So when a dihydrotestosterone acts on a stromal cell, it activates few growth factors, epithelial-like growth factors, insulin-like growth factors, and you have your keratin keratinocyte-like growth factors, and also it activates TGF-beta. This is what happens in a normal person. It has a balance, perfect balance. So it causes epithelial cell proliferation. At the same time, TGF-beta is going to cause cell death. So there's a profit, proper balance here. The, the prostate doesn't grow very big. So on the other hand, when there's a BPH, either there's an overactivation of DTH. In addition to that, the most important thing is estrogens. There are two types of estrogens, alpha and beta. So what happens here is the estrogen alpha, which takes an upper hand here, it kind of activates this loop and this loop will be suppressed. So when a patient has BPH, the dihydrotestosterone activates both of them, but estrogens kind of suppress the epithelial cell death part due to TGF beta. So I'm going to have an overactivation. So it results in epithelial cell proliferation, right? It's as simple as that. Just we'll go to the next one. Uh, this is how it looks. It's a nodular hyperplasia of prostate. It predominantly affects the transition zone. And if you look in microscopy, you'll see both the epithelial component here and the myoepithelial component here. This is both glandular as well as stromal hyperplasia, right? That's in short about BPH. Uh, let me know if you want something else. We'll just discuss something short like this every morning. Thank you. Bye-bye.